Hi, I'm Dr. Nurschel, and uh, we're doing a series on uh, how to prevent injury and how to enhance your performance. And uh, in this particular uh, discussion will be about the baseball injuries. Uh, first of all, uh, the concept of, uh, of sport in general is not good health. The, the, the goal is to, is to win, and while you're busy winning, you can hurt yourself. In baseball, repetitive uh, overload throwing uh, can cause a lot of havoc as far as the shoulder is concerned, and let's just concentrate on the shoulder for, for a moment. Uh, when you throw a lot at a, at a particular angle, it depends on technique, and multiple repetitions can mechanically break down the tendons uh, in the shoulder, and so a very common injury is rotator cuff tendon problems. And so the issues are that if you put a lot of miles uh, on these tendons, they gradually mechanically break down and in the process the blood supply line gets squeezed out of the tendon. So rotator cuff basically is the key player and uh, that blood supply line in there is not very good and if it, if it breaks down you get like a little heart attack a part of the tendon. And that heart attack tissue is, is pain producing tissue. And so when you raise the arm uh, to about a 90 degree angle which is the position of baseball throwing uh, that tendon can also pinch then against the bone up on top called the acromion bone and so all of a sudden you can get a stretch and uh, tension uh, load injuries in other words it's being pushed and pummeled and stretched and then it can get pinched besides so that's not a good combination. So throwing a ball is uh, really punishing to, uh, to the rotator cuff tendon. So the whole idea uh, is number one to take a look at the technique and so that coaches then should really pay attention to uh, what the position, the elevation of the arm, and also do pitch counts, uh, the frequency, intensity, and duration of the activity. So if you overload too much, that rotator cuff tendon is like the tires on your car. If you get enough miles on them, it'll, it'll thin out over time. So, so technique is important. The, uh, the volume of throwing is important. Uh, and then also you want to maintain good strength because throwing really uh, maybe strengthens the front part of the shoulder, but it weakens the back part of the shoulder. So almost all of these shoulders are weak in the back. And so you really then need to do rehabilitative exercise, uh, which strengthens the back part of the shoulder, which has been weakened by the throwing motion itself. So a lot of folks get that mixed up. They think that just throwing the ball basically strengthens everything wrong. Uh, it really weakens a significant part of the, of the shoulder. And so you need to do re medical rehabilitative exercise to counteract the effects of the throwing itself. And so the idea then is also to encourage new blood vessels to come into that damaged tendon and that's what the physical therapy medical rehabilitation exercise does. And also the modalities of physical therapy including electrical stimulation and ultrasound help that process. Now for pain control sometimes it's uh, helpful to have some anti-inflammatory medicines and to work uh, with uh, possibly a cortisone injection but we want to, don't want to use cortisone too often because the cortisone, if you use it too often, can sometimes weaken the tendons. So you have to be careful and sparing on how you do that. So concepts then are number one, you want to do pain control uh, in some form. Uh, number two, uh, you want to improve the quality of the arm by medical rehabilitation exercise. Number three, you want to do violence control so you pay attention to the technique of the throwing and also uh, the uh, uh, frequency of, of the throwing. So all of those things are very important. So it's important to have some physical therapy type folks uh, and, a, and a doctor who understands sports injuries to really help you out. Uh, other, other things that happen in the throwing shoulder are the labrum which is the rim of the socket and on occasion that gets torn as well and so that, those, uh, uh, that plus the rotator cuff are the most common problems which occur. You have to pay attention to um, muscle fatigue uh, because that also invites injury to the rotator cuff area and also to the labrum. So all of those things are extremely important in protecting you uh, in your throwing activities. So uh, with this bit of information I think you'll probably be better served and you'll be able to throw better, play better, and prevent injury at the same time. So this is Dr. Nershall signing off in terms of, of the concepts of uh, prevention uh, and enhancement of uh, your sports activities with a shoulder in baseball throwing.